In this video, we will learn how to make this beautiful accordion or collapsible. This type of collapsible content is really handy for FAQs. Hi, I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos, please hit the subscribe buttons and click the bell icon for notification. So, to make this, I have some ready content. These are auto layouts. And, because these are auto layouts, if you disable elements from the layer tab, the frame will be resized. So, first, let's convert these three into the auto layout. We are gonna use auto layout a lot in this tutorial. We made a tutorial on auto layout, you might check the description for that. Now, copy this. Change the color. I am going to place text in this auto layout. If you cannot place it by drag and drop, you can pull it in from the layer tab also. Let's change the direction. Give it a bit of padding. Let's test it. And, it is working fine. I want this to downward. Now, let's convert it into components. So I have to rename the layouts first. Use forward slash like this, otherwise, component variables may not form in the right way. You will find another tutorial on it in the description. Click Combine as Variants. Now, I will make the accordion. I'll take four copies of it. Change the contents. Now, select all, and convert it into an auto layout. Rename the layer like this. Then, copy four more sets. As you see, layers will be renamed automatically. Now, uncollapse like this. Convert these into components. Now, let's prototype this. For the first set, direct the first element to the first uncollapsed set. Direct the second one to the second, and so on. Direct uncollapsed element to the first set. And for the rest of the elements, direct it according to the serial as before. And repeat it for the rest of the sets. It might bit confusing, but it is not that critical. Change the body text content like this. And, that's it. As it is already a component variant. 
you will find it in the asset tab. Drag and drop into your design. And it is working perfectly. So there you go. I hope you liked the video. If so, please like, share, and comment. And I will see you in the next video.